Okay, so this is the rad that we're going to be removing today and we're going to install the same size rad uh, but just a double convector rad. So uh, the first things first, we need to drain down the system. So as you can see, I've now taking the rad off the wall, uh, I always flip them upside down so no water can come out. Um, if there's any little residue of uh, water left in the actual radiator. So I'm just going to take this outside now. Sweet! So now we're going to take off the old brackets um, and then measure up for the new ones. Plasterers plaster over everything. Crazy. So there you go. Right, the brackets are now off, as you can see. So now it's time to measure up for the new ones. Okay, the next thing we want to do is measure the very bottom of where the valve is going to go into to the very top of the actual radiator itself and I know that's 59 centimeters so we need to measure from this point here to right at the top here so then we can draw that on our wall of where it's going to go so we know exactly where the height of the top height of the radiator is going to be and we know that when we measure we measure from the bottom of here 59 centimeters up here and then we know that when we hang that radiator that our valves are going to sit in the right place Now that we've got our measurement from the bottom of the valve to the top of where the radiator is going to sit, we can now measure with our tape measure 59 centimetres, which is there, we've already drawn a line. With our uh, level, just draw a level line on the wall. A little bit further over, roughly where the actual bracket's going to sit. Because our next measurement is going to be from the top of the rad to the bottom of the first bracket, which I'll show you now. So here you have the top of the actual radiator itself, and this is your first bracket. We always take our measurement from the bottom because that's where the bracket's going to sit. So if we get our tape measure, we can measure from the top to the bottom of the actual bracket and you're looking at around 120 mil so there's your measurement so now that we've got our measurement of 120 centimeter uh, 120 millimeters we can get our tape measure Measure from the top line down to 120 millimeters there and draw a line. And that's where our bracket's going to sit. Now, just to show you, we're not going to take our measurement from this point. We're going to take our measurement, this is where the line needs to sit because obviously this is where the rad's going to drop into it. 
So you take where that uh, 120 millimeter measurement is, you draw a little line, I always tend to draw a line on, on here where it, where it sits, I don't know if you can see that on there, you probably can't, but I always draw a line across so I know exactly where this is actually gonna sit on the wall. So I draw a line all the way across, so I know exactly it's gonna sit in place. I think you can just see it just there. So, and that's where we're gonna mount our first bracket. So here it goes. Okay, so to mount the bracket, gonna line our lines up together, like so. Get your level. Pull it up. You might want to draw a little line as well, just so that you know it's going in the right spot. And then we mark where where are we going to drill our holes. is the drill. Now that we've got our uh, holes uh, marked out, now we're ready for drilling. Here it goes. as the walls are really soft here to be honest with you so I'm going to put some extra long screws in just so I make sure that these brackets are not going to fall off the wall so you want to get your raw plugs and insert them into the wall like so Get yourself some penny washers as well. Um, because sometimes the screw heads are not big enough and they'll fall through the holes and it just helps positioning it a little bit better as well. So simply place the screw inside. want to do at this point is just put the level on there just to make sure that it hasn't moved or anything like that and if it does just adjust it slightly and then drive your screw into the wall perfect now what you need to do is do the same on the other side So now on the wall, time for the radiator. Woo! All right, now we've got the rad in the room. It's now time to mount it on the wall and see if all our uh, measurements are correct. Whew. You have to be pretty strong. You don't want to be ripping your pants over. Yeah. 